Jawahar from AI Jawahar. I'm here to teach you about the GDAL. Everything that I know about GDAL, I will give you for free. Push subscribe button and follow us to learn everything about GDAL. Well, I learned GDAL from this book, but if you are not a bookworm person, don't worry, I will teach you everything about the GDAL. Well, if you want to start working with a vector in GDAL, at the first you should learn OGR library. GDAL is a stand for uh, actually just special data abstraction library, but OGR doesn't stand for anything really. And the OGR allows you to create and manipulate geometry such as for example edit attributes or uh, filter data based on attribute values or spatial location and also data analysis. Before you start working with OGR, you should know about the hierarchical. When you use OGR to open data source, uh, such as a shapefile or GeoJSON, this data source can have one or more child layer object, and each layer uh, contains, uh, for example, some features, and the features actually hold uh, some geometry and attributes. If you don't know how to install GDAL, check this video. Okay, let's go to understand about which format is appropriate for OGR. The first step to accessing any vector data is to open the data source. And actually, this website is listed uh, more than 70 vectors, vector drivers that OGR can read. It can't write some of them. And also, it depends on the version of your OGR. Maybe uh, OGR doesn't support uh, some of these uh, vector drivers. If you want to know the specific vector drivers is related to your version of OGR that you uh, install in your in your system, you can open CMD actually and uh, activate your environment if you create environment and then install your GDAL in that environment. For example, I activate GDAL environment and then I type OGR info formats. You can see here, these are the vector drivers that are supported by your OGR. And R means read and W means write. For example, this format can read and write uh, with your OGR, but some of them are just read. For example, this one just uh, can read, but it couldn't write actually. Okay, now I want to show you how we can read, uh, for example, every shape here. Uh, at the first, I need to import OGR. The OGR is in SGEO, OSGEO library import OGR and then you need to use uh, for example OGO SHP OGO OGR open dot open the first argument is the address of your shape this is the address of my shape file don't forget to use double slash or a backslash for example here i use double slash and then the second argument can be zero or a one the one is open as a for example edit mode but the zero open as just read mode i want to open it as a read mode uh, let me show you this shape file in qgis Uh, this is my Manhattan shape file. I can add it from a layer, add layer and a vector layer. And here I pass the address of my shape file and then add uh, add button here. As you see, this is a source data and this is a layer. Here we can have a different kind of layer, for example, the road layer or the population layer. But here just we have a one layer. Uh, let me show you the attribute of this shape file. 
Uh, as you see, we have a different column. Uh, object, shape length, shape area, zone, location, ID, and this uh, column 2. Okay, uh, now I want to get a layer. For example, Manhattan layer is Manhattan shapefile dot get layer. And here I should pass the index of your layer. And the index is started from zero. For example, the first layer has a zero index and the second layer has a one index. Here, just we have a one layer. So I shoot the zero index uh, for my layer. And then as you remember, uh, in a hierarchical picture, we have a data source here and then different layers. And then we have a feature. Now I want to get a feature. Uh, before to get a feature, I want to show you. I want to know, for example, how many features does we have in this layer? We use a Manhattan layer dot get feature count. And we can print it, for example, here, Manhattan feature number. Let me run. As you see here, we have 69 feature. Let me show you, is it correct or not? Yes, we have 69 feature in this shape file. Each row is a feature. Okay, I want to access to each feature. It means that to access each row of uh, my shape file. I can use it here, for example, Manhattan feature. I said Manhattan layer dot get feature without count and uh, I should get the number of uh, your feature, for example, the first feature or the second feature. As you know, the index is a, a start from se uh, zero. For example, I put zero here and then I print, for example, Manhattan feature dot. Uh, here I can add the name of your uh, column. Let me show you. For example, I can get object, location ID, zone, and everything. For example, I get a zone. Let me run. Uh, yes, uh, we have alphabet city. Uh, let me print something else. For example, print Manhattan feature uh, dot location ID. Four. Let me show you is it correct or not. Yes, the location ID is four and the zone is alphabet city. The FID is uh, one, but the feature ID is zero. As you see here, the index is zero. And also we can get, for example, the last uh, Manhattan feature, for example, Manhattan feature last by getting from Manhattan feature by getting from Manhattan layer and then get feature. Here I should pass the last index. The last index is equal to Manhattan feature num minus one. And then I can print Manhattan feature, for example, last dot, uh, for example, location ID. And then let me put last here because maybe we confused after run. 263 last. Yes, 263 is a location ID, it's the last one. Now we can put a loop through uh, all the feature and get, for example, a certificate 
uh, column for example I want to get all the zones name from the all features here I said for for example F feature in layer Manhattan layer you can get every feature in Manhattan layer into the F and then I can get for example print F dot zone here let me comment this print yes I can get all the Manhattan zones from the old features here also we can get a geometry for example print for example uh, f dot geometry geometry and I put it into the for example Joe and then print Joe let me run because these are a polygon we have all the points of the polygon geometry here this is all about you need to know about the OGR when you want to read the vector GIS students and RS students or anyone who works with geometry don't forget to push subscribe button a lot of video are coming soon next video we talk about how we plot shapefile and how to access to the specific feature give me thumbs up bye bye